so long ago when we last saw each other. When we last danced together under a sweet song. I remember it like it was yesterday when full moons and summer breezes accompanied us in open fields of love. We were all hands and our favorite melodies would trickle out of the speaker like raindrops from clouds. And the only thing that mattered was that we were together. Together. <laughs> Together. Together. Oh my God. All right, all right, all right, fam. How's it going? 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 Look. Oh my God. Welcome to an epi another episode of Command Center News. Welcome to Command Center. Thank you for joining me today for Command Center News. Yeah, yes indeed. Check it out. We got some new stuff jumping off. We got some new stuff jumping off. Check it out. First of all, Lord, 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 let's take another look at this new game uh, that's supposed to be released. Uh, 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 I'm, talk I'm thinking October the 28th. Yeah, with, along with the Switch OLED. Yes, uh, we're going to take another look at... Uh, uh, this uh, beautiful game that's turning out to be real spectacular, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, as we take another deep uh, 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 and another look at uh, a Metroid, uh, a dread. Uh, you dig? I can't. I'm dreading on the game. You understand me? Yeah, coming October the 28th with uh, the uh, Nintendo Switch OLED motto. On the same day, Nintendo ain't playing with them. You dig? You understand me, man? I hope y'all doing good out there. But yeah. The Switch OLED model is going uh, is going to drop on uh, October the 28th, along with this game Metroid Prime. I mean, well, not Prime, Metroid Dread. Every Metroid's a Prime now. I don't know why. Ever since Prime, ever, ever since I've been playing Prime, every Metroid is a Prime. I don't know why. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming out October 28th with the OLED Switch. Man, yeah, that's crazy, man. I'm I'm a pick. I just recently picked up a brand new Switch. Uh, I did an unboxing on it. You guys can go back. I'm going to refer you back to that unboxing. I just picked up a brand new Switch along with some new games. Uh, 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 and believe me, I will be picking up. I got every one of them games, man. Metroid is a man. If you ain't played Metroid, where have you been? You understand me. You did. Moving on to other news. Check this out, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 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 we got, man, we got a lot, let me tell you something, fam, we got a lot of new games, uh, 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 to be released, uh, this fall, I'm gonna tell you like this, uh, the, the problem is gonna be, uh, 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 it's not gonna be a shortage of games, the problem is gonna be choosing one. Yeah, because there's too many games coming out. This is going to be uh, 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 the new game, Black for Blood. Looks, uh, uh, looks a little, uh, uh, they're, they're calling this game uh, uh, Left, Left for Dead, the new uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, successor to Left for Dead. And I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan, huge fan of Left for Dead. So, uh, yeah, if this is any uh, 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 thing like, le oh my God, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, it looks like a first-person shooter. Uh, uh, it's going to be dropping. I, I, I'm not for sure if they gave a, uh, a release. October, yeah, it's going to be dropping sometime in October. No official date, date. Uh, uh, I do know it's going to be dropping in October. I'm going to be picking this up also because it's going to be a beast of a game. They're calling it the, sets, the successor to Left 4 Dead. It's going to be, man, it's crazy, man. As you can see, Kind of zombie like apocalypse. Every game's like zombie like apocalypse now. But anyway, uh, yeah, they're getting us prepared. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. It's called uh, Black. I mean, uh, Black for Blood. Uh, oh yeah, man, it's crazy, man. I've been seeing a lot of uh, reviews, uh, 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 and I wanted to really know what, they, what, when did it come out? It come. This game comes out drops in October, twenty twenty one. You understand me? Be there or be uh, a square. You dig. Moving along to other news. Man, this, this game looks kind of hot, though. Hold on. Man, look at that big guy. Oh, my God, man. Yeah, man. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be hot. I got to get that. I'm going to pick that up. Now, this is enough. We're going to move along to another game here uh, that I was checking out. And, and all of these games are, are, are to be uh, um, uh, released here. 
this year, uh, this fall. Uh, this is going to be a new, uh, a new SCP tactical first person shooter. First look, I think this is going to be the P for the PC. Uh, they're still working on this game. Uh, I think uh, this is going to be for the PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X. Uh, um, when it is released, um, yeah, it's kind of like um, Call of Duty type uh, first person tactical shooter uh, uh, teams, I guess. Uh, five on five teams. I'm not for sure, really, the game specific gameplay on the game, but man, it is a beast of a game, and everybody's talking about this one also. So, yeah, yeah, I'm not heavily, heavily, heavy on the first person, uh, uh, perspective games. I, I got all that out in uh, 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 James Bunt, a uh, 007 for the 6 4 back in them days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I burnt out on that game, man. I used to play that game every day, four players. You understand me? Four player flip split screen. That was the first first person shooter. You did, Doom, along with Doom and Wolfenstein 3D. We take a back. Man, we didn't came a long way, man. We didn't came a long way, man. Look at these first person shooters now looking like real life. You understand me with the uh, 4 4K was not heard of. We had a uh, stereo, uh, 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 yellow with white and uh, red uh, plugins. Yeah, you understand me. You dig, and and sometimes RF. You understand me, depending on what switch it is. Man, we came a long, huge, 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 huge way. We went from HDMI to 4K. You understand me, man, and that was just. In the 80s, don't talk about my age now. Don't, don't talk about me. Yeah, I've been around a while. That's why I say, man, I know how these games go. Yeah, yeah, but look at this first person the tactical shooter. It's uh, looking like a beast of a game. Man, I'm, uh, 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 you know what? I may pick that up. Just to, you know, so many games to pick up this, this fall, man. This fall's going to be hot, man. I mean, be there, be square, square. See, you're going to end up picking up something. It's too many games coming out this fall. And along with that Nintendo, uh, Along with that Nintendo Dread, I mean, with that Nintendo new, new, new OLED Nintendo system, I think that and along with uh, which we finna get into here in a second, uh, let's get into this other news. Uh, 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 yeah, Arcade One Up is still heating up the interwebs uh, uh, um, um, with. Um, I'm pretty for sure with that. Uh, um with that terminator cabinet that everybody's taking a look at you know what i mean everybody wants to uh once once in once in uh on this terminator cabinet cabinet here I, if i can find it here well i don't think i had it on there okay all right well yeah, arcade one up supposed to be coming out with the um with this with the Terminator arcade one. Yeah, yeah. It's, let me tell you something about this arcade one up cabinet, man. This arcade one up cabinet, man, is gonna be um in Canadian right now. It's eight hundred and forty nine dollars, man. Yeah, in Canadian right now. Now, 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 now. When it gets here, it's going to probably be a, every bit of $700 for this cabinet, man. Yeah, yeah, and an and arcade one up. I don't, I don't, I don't, it should, re, this cabinet should release late fall. That's what they're saying, uh, late fall. And, 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 and what's unique about this cabinet, what I'm liking about this cabinet, fam, is you can pick the guns up off the cabinet and stand back, you know, because you know those arcade, I've got arcade one ups, and they're kind of, you can play two players, you know, you know, you you got enough room to play two players. You might have to stand aside a little bit, but you can you got enough room to play. But a game like this, both players would have to put their head into the screen if the gun did not move from the screen. Both of y'all would have to get up there. And I'm seeing that it's almost impossible. They did too because they made it so the guns you can pick up and, and, and a little bit and move back. You know, an original arcade machine of this machine, you could not remove the guns from the machine. They mounted to the machine. You know what I'm saying? So I think that that was a plus. And they thought ahead, arcade one up, thinking, man, because yeah, the uh, the, the cabinet, the art, unless they were gonna make the screen bigger, 
in the cabinet wire. You understand me? And that was going to raise the price. You understand me? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. We weren't, they weren't going to do that. I mean, they should have. It cost 700 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me shut up. <laughs> they could have did it either way. But I think they chose a good way to get around uh, 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 the cost because it probably would have been higher than $700 had they not gave you a bigger screen and a wider cabinet, even though it's already high. As we as we speak, they, it would have been even higher, probably about a thousand, twelve hundred dollars for the arcade machine. But now, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is gonna be a nice uh, 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 Terminator uh, Judgment Day. I used to play this arcade game in the arcades coming up. It was a nice arcade machine too, man. They got a new Aliens and new Terminators in the arcade now. Make 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 these games look sad. And I remember when them was so futuristic looking when they first came out. You will never forget first impressions on a new machine. When you see a new machine, I don't care how old you get, you'll never forget how that machine struck you uh, and took you when you first laid eyes on it. You understand me? Now, younger people today don't know that we did not have Xbox Ones and play PS4s. We had systems. We had P uh, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, and we 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 had we we reared up to them. But before our Dreamcast is in our PlayStations, we had Nintendos, Super Nintendos, and Sega Genesis that wasn't capable of handling the, the graphics that these machines uh, produced. So we had to look forward to the arcade game, the arcades getting new machines in so we could see what's coming to our systems because they would make copies of these games for uh, the Super Nintendo uh, or, or the Sega Genesis, they would not be exactly like you would know, Holly, the difference unless you was an arcade professional. Like, like, like I have become, you understand me? I can tell you the gra I can look at the, I can look at Mortal Kombat 2 and tell you if it's the arcade version uh, uh, or, or a copy of the game. Now, I used to couldn't, you understand me? But now I can today because I've been in the game in a long time. But, but today, Today we have machines that are capable of giving you the exact same experience. Only machine that was like that back in my day that was capable of doing that and cost a pretty penny was the Neo Geo system. You got the exact same game you seen at the arcade. Not only did you get the exact same game that you seen at the arcade game, you had a memory card that you could use on your on your or on your console and take to the arcade and pick up exactly where you left off at home. Yeah, yeah, that was the system was $700 back in them days. That was like 12 or 13, possibly $1,500 compared, yeah, and back in to, to, to the day. Yeah, that's that, you know, inflation, money is not what it used to be. Uh, yeah, to, the money, yeah, 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 it's crazy, it's crazy. Okay, moving on and, uh, and to other news, check this out, man, for my, uh, in case you guys don't know already, for my Call of Duty fans out there, you understand me? I have heard that there is going to be a new release of the game, man. Um, um, yeah, a new release. I, don't, I think this is exclusive. Um, I want to say this game's going to be exclusive to the PS4 Pro. In the PS5. Yeah, because I was looking at it. I'm like, I wonder why I just say PS5 and PS4. It don't say nothing about no other systems. I cannot imagine them coming and out. This is called Call of Duty Vanguard. Um, this is, like I said, PS4 and PS5. No release date yet on this game. You understand me? I, I, they taking it back to the original Call of Duties. You understand me? And, 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 and yeah, I, I can't imagine them not coming out with a Call of Duty game. And, and it's not for the Xbox One series. Uh, uh, it may be uh, for a limited time exclusive to the PS4 uh, Pro and the PS4, you know, Sony. It may be limited time exclusive. Who knows? But, but, but I'm, I'm not seeing... I'm not saying they didn't say nothing about the game being for uh, being for uh, they didn't say nothing about the game being for uh, for no other system but the PS4, 
and uh and the ps5 so yeah yeah uh, yeah go figure that man go figure that I, I was surprised at that but yeah no release date on this game yet i figure this game uh may drop sometime at the end of this year or beginning of next year that's what i would think that's what i'm saying that's what i'm thinking you know who knows but because you can see it's almost done or done you know they planned it so so yeah it's gonna drop probably this fall late this fall uh, or, or beginning of next year so so be looking for that call of duty vanguard yeah that's what's going on moving along to other news i was taking a look uh, back at this other game here man and i was um i kind of got I, I was i was going through uh some games the other day and i'm like man i've never seen this game before and um let you guys take a look at it uh this game is called is that rip out? okay this is gonna be rip out we're gonna go to this it's 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 a uh, rip out is uh the official this is this is a. Uh, uh, this is a first-person shooter, re futuristic first-person shooter, man. This, this, this game's kind of crazy, man, because you got guns that shoot out animals. You know, you got oh my god, you you got the pet gun on here. It's crazy. Let me let you guys get a look at this game. It's, it's called Rip Out, and uh, let me tell you something. I'm not for sure what all systems. Uh, uh, this game's gonna be for, uh, you got the pet gun on here, en enemies adapt to your, uh, guns and your weapons on here over a period of time, and you, you, look at that, look at that, look at that, he shoots fighters out on him, oh my god, yeah, 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 it's crazy, man, yeah, according to IGN, if you wanna see the, uh, official trailer on this, you know what I'm saying, it will probably be, uh, be shown by IGN, yeah. But uh, I'm not. I'm thinking this is probably gonna hit on the PC, Series X, and PS5. Possibly PS4, and, and, and possibly Xbox One X also. Uh, 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 I'm not seeing this release this year. I'm, I just seen the game. I'm not. See, I'm seeing this release sometime next year. I mean, that's just my opinion. Uh, but you can go and look it up, and, 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 and if you want to, and, and, and try. Yeah, 2022. Yep. Exactly what I thought. I, I I wasn't seeing. I'm pretty good at calling games, man. And, and, and it's too new. And I just seen it, you know. And I said, man, let me implement this in the news. You know what I mean? Because I'm I, I never seen this game before, and, and it's got a unique. It's got unique features. Whereas the guns, uh, 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 I never seen a game where uh, the enemies uh, get, adapt to your weapons. Uh, 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 and you got a gun that shoots out animals. Yeah, 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 man. They, they, they ain't playing, man. What? 2021. Going into 2020. <laughs> and we're going to take another look, fam, at the talk. At the talk of the year. We're going to take another look. We got to take another look at the talk of the year because it's still making news, man. We got to take, we got to take another look. We, I'm forced to, uh, 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 to, to implement this Steam Deck. Here we go again. You understand me? That will be released uh, in November and December if you happily be lucky enough to uh, score one. Uh, uh, there will be three models of this system. One will cost you about $450. The other $550 to $600. The other $750 to $800. And they come with more memory according to the one you bought. Uh, 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 this is unbelievable. This, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Second or third shipment, even if pre-ordered. That's what I'm calling on this machine. You know what I'm saying? Even if you pre-order it right now. And they got ahead of the scam, uh, scam artists. And you're still going to wait. Uh, uh, you're still going to wait on it. Even if you pre-order it. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to pre-order it. But I, I know not to look forward to it. No time. No time real fast in the mail. You understand me? Yeah. Because, yeah. Yeah. This thing is unbelievable, man. And if I didn't say it earlier, I heard some guys. Uh, 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 I was watching uh, uh talk show the other day where I was hearing some guys uh, that was talking about Valve and and, and and what's going on and I'm like, they was like uh, Valve's thinking about you understand me, since this handheld so powerful man and it does what it does uh, and, it, and, and, and being that you may be able, I'm not for sure but what I'm hearing, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of people being saying this that you will be able to hook uh, 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 your, your VR helmet 
Oculus Quest uh, PC VR helmet to this thing and, and play Steam PC, PC VR games. If that's possible, then their next installment of something like this will be a helmet. Because all the Oculus Quest is, is the same thing. That's all it is. It's, it's, it's the same thing. But now, I, I, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it and say, you know what? Since they made, since Valve went out and made this uh, Steam Deck like this, Look forward for a standalone index real soon in the future, man. I mean, a standalone index. And the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the Valve Index is already a beast. PC beast. There, I guarantee you, if, if I worked at Valve, man, you understand me, and they was able to release this machine as small as it is, and it does what it does, what's stopping you guys at this point from implementing that into a helmet? It's easy. Yeah, it's a no-brainer, man. I'm making an index too. Standalone. You don't even need to hook it up to the PC. You dig, man? I'm, I'm gonna leave that alone, man. But but but, uh, uh, like I said, I was hearing these guys talk about that and speak about that, and and, and they, these guys are close to these guys. And usually when they say something, look at this guy. Got it hooked up to his PC, but anyway, and it's a PC. Uh, 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 if that does what it does and it's that small, they can implement that in a helmet easy. All you gotta do is put some valve controllers with it, and it's a standalone device. And an and, and instant Steam connection, you understand me, to instant PC VR. You don't gotta hook it up to your computer no more. It is a computer. You understand me? All you gotta do is have the internet. Yeah, that's all. And, and, and I, I would, I would think, I would think now, I would think that you would have to have, and, and this is a no-brainer. This is a no-brainer. I'm thinking you would have to have, uh, you know, a strong internet. You know what I mean? A, 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 a nice, capable internet. But I'm, I, but then again, I take that back, man, because I've got, I own the Oculus Quest, man, and it's a standalone VR helmet, and, 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 and I had real slow internet for, for for a while there, and man, that uh, that Quest had no problem putting me online playing games with anybody and everybody. I never had a problem with the Quest, and I had slow. My phone would not uh go where it posed to go sometimes, but that Quest had no hiccups at all. And I had slow internet. Now I got fast internet. So, so, I'm seeing, uh, if they was able to do that with the Quest, you understand me? But they made by different peoples. But, 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 man, you understand me? You dig? You understand me? You dig? You understand me? You dig? <laughs> it's Val. You understand me? They should be able to do that, man. So I'm, I'm calling it, man. I'm calling it. Not this year. Maybe in the next year, beginning of 2023, you mark my words. They're going to be a standalone. They're going to be a standalone valve index, man. Based off this technology. I see where it's going already, man. I've been doing games too long, man. Come on, man. Moving along to other news, man. You dig, you understand me, and let's get right into something that I'm, of course, you, everybody probably knows about already, man. Check this out, man. In case you didn't know, man, it's all over the interlobes, uh, uh, interwebs, uh, uh, aliens, uh, 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 alien fire team elite released yesterday, man, let me tell you, I went to GameStop to pick up my copy and it was packed with people picking this game up, man. It's a it's a it's a nice game, and we did a review on it yesterday. So go, I'm gonna refer you back to that review. Got my copy, man. Get your copy, man. Yes, sir. It's not a game, man. Everybody's playing this game. It's hot, man. I mean, yeah. Went to GameStop yesterday, man, and could barely get in there to pick my copy up, man. I mean, oh my God, man. It was they was bum rushed, man. I felt sorry for that guy behind the counter, man. Cause man, and I'm from a small town, man. So so so, if it was packed here, I feel sorry for the city games stop, man. You understand me? That man in there is, yeah. You better have two peoples or three peoples, man. Yeah, according to the population. You dig? You understand me? But yeah, Aliens Elite Team, uh, Elite Fire Team released yesterday, man. And let me tell you something. I seen. Not only did I do a review on the game, fam. I seen about. 
you know, usually I look, uh, uh, I usually look at my prior episodes before making another episode, uh, making another uh, uh, video, doing another YouTube video. So during the process of researching and going through my old videos, you know how many times I ran across this game, man? It was ridiculous. I said, man, everybody's doing a review and a premiere on this game, man. I did. I was already planning on doing one because that's why I picked it up. We did ours yesterday. Sold it off. Thousand, hundred million people. So I'm going to tell you something. It was so many people playing this game yesterday that, that you was having hiccups if you was trying to play it online. You, you, it, it was ridiculous. I'm talking about cross-platform cross, cross platform, uh, uh, PC, uh, 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 Xbox Series S, uh, PS5, PS4, Xbox One X. I'm talking about, man, everybody was online playing this game, man, yesterday. And you knew it because you, you took you too long to do certain stuff. And then I was, I, we went through the first playthrough and got cut off and had to restart. It's too much internet traffic, man. That's how many people was playing this. It's a hot game, man. And if you ain't got it yet, you better go pick it up, man. Uh, what are you waiting on, man? Yeah, moving along to even other news. You understand me? Man, yeah, that released yesterday. Aliens Elite Fire Team. Uh, um, and Fire Team Elite, man. And let me tell you something. I, I was playing it earlier before I uh, started my uh, this episode. And let me tell you, I finally completed the first mission. Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, this game is ridiculous, man. I, and I'm on standard. I'm on standard, man. So I don't even want to know yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, let me, let's get moving along, man. Because, man, these games are getting harder. I can, I can, you know, I was complaining about a lot of the games, a lot of the, a lot of the new games being too easy. You know, these days, man, a lot of the games are easier compared to when I was playing games. You had to know how to play that game or you wasn't getting nowhere. This game, I take that back. This game is not a game. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you another game that's not that's not easy. Doom Eternal. They made that old school style. That's not an easy game, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some games they make like they used to. A lot of the newer games are easier than the, uh, than the, than the games that we played back in the days, man. Okay, and then let's get into our final story. Uh, this is a new game for the uh, Xbox One X and the Xbox Series X only. Yeah, it's called Replaced. And, and let me tell you something. It, it struck me, uh, it struck me, uh, kind of odd because I never heard of a game like that. I'm like, man, what, what's this, uh, what's this, uh, 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 Replaced game? You know what I mean? Man, I never heard of this before. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a 2D, uh, 3D, 2D, uh, a walkthrough, beat em up, shoot em up. Uh, this is going to release in, uh, sometime in 2022. So be on guard. I'm going to give you guys a look at this game, man. It's, it's, it's... Yeah, let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's, uh, I, I said, man, this is an odd game, but I, I, I'm going to tell you something about this game. I, I, I know odd games. You'll be able to do stuff in this game you don't think you're going to be able to do in this game simply because of the way it looks. That's, and they know it. It's going to shock you. They they gonna they know it because, and I, I'm pretty I bet you they done put a lot of stuff in there that you don't think that you're gonna be able to do, but you are gonna be able to do because of, of the way it looks. Don't let look looks fool you, man. In this game, man, because it, it's gonna be a beast of a game. It's only, however, uh, I don't know if uh, I don't know if uh, uh, Microsoft has uh, got the rights to the game uh, to the game uh, and it's just gonna continue to only be for the Xbox One X and Series S it comes out in 2022 I don't know when in 2022 because there was no specific release date for the game but uh, I, I, it, it's a crazy one it's a, it's a weird game man it's a weird game man it's a weird game crazy graphics nice 2d platform background got you doing all types of stuff man beat them up shoot them up gun them up yeah, it's gonna be. It's, I, I, I'm calling it, man. It's gonna be a high game, man. I'm calling it. It's gonna be a high game. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. I, I've seen games like this, man, and then you think they're not gonna be hot, and 
yeah, everybody's playing it, except you. Because <laughs> you didn't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking, you know, I never see too many games come out. This is according to IGN, uh, 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 however. Uh, since this is going to be for the Xbox Series X and the Xbox, and the Xbox One X, I'm also seeing this for the PC. Very few games come out that ain't for the PC. So you understand me? If this is going to be for them systems, it's definitely going to be for the PC. You understand me? I don't know. The PC get every game except for the uh, only games I ain't seen the PC get is Sony games. And, and, and they get some of them, but, but uh, uh, exclusive Sony games. Uh, that's the only games I've seen so far an exclusive Nintendo game, copyrighted games. You know, and they got some of them, you know, so but 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 yeah, anything made that Microsoft running, man, it's you can bet you it's gonna be a PC version to it, man. You understand me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know why they say Xbox Series S and Xbox One only. Let me let's let, let's let's go into our final encounter. The final final encounter. Cause I must speak on it again before we get out of here. You you did. Yeah, 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 yeah. See what's going on in here. Uh, 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 let me see what's going. On. Let, let's speak on one more encounter, and and, and, and I'm gonna tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. They've been talking about that uh that 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 you understand remake, man, of this masterpiece, man, and by EA, man. You understand me, man? Let me tell you something, man. I had to go pick it up, man. You understand me? I had to go pick up part three. Uh, uh, uh let me tell you something, nigga. The value of these games have went up. All of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. It was not a surprise to me, man. It was not a surprise to me. The value of Dead Space, regular. S -s -s two and three. Went up. You can't find them out. And if you can find them, you're going to have to... It's going to be an ugly price on these games, man. These are hot games. Man, I knew this game was hot when I first played it, man. I mean, I mean, I was like, man, man, look at this game, boy. This game is before its time, man. You understand me? Whoever thought of this game, man, they, they man, the minds, you understand me, man, because this is a beast of a game. I thought it then, and I still think it now. And before I even heard that EA was going to do a release, I was talking to somebody about these games. I was talking to somebody about Dead Space. I said, man, Dead Space is one of the best games I've played in my life. It was for the 360. And I didn't even, I, and I don't know how they do Xbox a lot, man. But, but, but this game here, I first played it on the Xbox 360. All three versions. I don't know if it's exclusive. I never really seen a game for the PS4. I didn't even know the Wii U had a version of the game. Uh, uh, uh Dead Space Extraction. I didn't even know. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta hunt that down and back order that game because I didn't even know. It's a lot of games for the Wii U that nobody even knew that was for the Wii U. I found that out today. It's a lot of games, man, for the Wii U that that that, that you wouldn't even think was for the Wii U. Yeah, yeah. It's a lot. That's a hot system too. Uh, uh, they talking about it's going to become the next Dreamcast, you understand me? So if you see one, pick it up, you understand me? Now I'm calling it, now you can listen to me, but you ain't got to listen to me. You can hear it from somebody else when it happened, you understand me? And then you can come back and say, that guy on Command Center News. <laughs> back last year, you did, you understand me? Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you can refer, you can refer back then on what I told you today, you understand me? And you know what, fam? Looks like, you understand me, that's gonna do it for our, uh, for our Command Center News. Yeah, 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 and I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with me, man, taking a look at Dead Space and all these other new exciting games that are coming out, man, and go pick up that fire, I mean, that alien, the elite fire team, man. It's gonna be hot, man. You understand me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. You understand me? Like, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Thursday. We're gonna be in Resident Evil Biohazard 7 in VR. Nice hanging out, man. Appreciate you, man. See you tomorrow.